Hey, what's going on, Lab Rats? This is JD. Um, I just wanted to shoot this video in regards to Google Analytics. I noticed that Teespring Analytics was um, having some issues today. And so for those that actually don't use this, if you have it set up in the Teespring backend, they have where you can plug in a Google Analytics and there's instructions on how to do all of that stuff. So what I like to do is come over here and change mine to the last seven days. Hit apply. And you can go down to behavior and click overview. And what they'll do is parse out all of your um, links that people have clicked on. And so like this right here, this is an actual regular campaign link with no variable with 501 page views. And here's an actual variable. Here's a combination variable that I was using to find out <clears throat> if people were clicking from my page or the ad. So the variable says page and there's no variable behind it. I mean, they were on my Facebook fan page, either the home page of the fan page or from a share from the fan page, because once they come out of the actual ad, the ad variables drop off. So as you can see here, here's a test PPE. This was when I was running a test and they actually work. So, and here's one without the page, which actually shows that they, they clicked directly through an ad that wasn't targeted to that. I think this was a dark post. So um, that's another way I uh, figured out how to track some shares. And it's actually been working pretty good because when I added these up and I subtracted the actual sales from my ad variables from the page variables, it added up um, evenly. So what I like to do is come over to full report and just push this out to like a hundred. So this one has 54 different links and you can see every single variable that has been used in the last week. And some of these are telling off on older campaigns, but I like using this because I can find out, you know, what's going on. So my last active, I had, I have campaigns overlapping, so I can look at these and you're able to kind of like, uh, sort them out. Um, like if I want to look at a specific campaign, I can type this in here and that specific campaign page, every page from that main Teespring page and the variables that follow it will show up and then I can see okay I've had a thousand people hit that page and you know it gave you some kind of page value and you can also go here to conversions and hit e-commerce and it shows how many sales you've had um, so this is my sales over the last seven days I believe um, nothing terribly exciting but uh, so 78 shirts so far uh, mostly hoodies so there's a, a couple of good little things that, that they have implemented into Google Analytics that if you learn how to use it it works really well I actually use this for my local clients and I figured hey might as well that gives the option for using it I know there's a lot of information to be found in here so as I dig through and see what Teespring actually passes over to Google Analytics, I'm actually finding a lot of good things in here. Like you can look through and find where people actually land and they show you <clears throat> all types of information on acquisition, where people are coming from. Uh, <clears throat> it would pay to dig in into Google Analytics because you can really, really nail down some targeting from different things because they also show the demographics of your audience through Google's platform. When you combine that with Facebook, it, it gets really, really deep into the stuff that you can you can you can do with these age groups and things like that. So I just wanted to shoot this quick video. Sorry it took so long, but uh, the beginning was the most important part. Thanks. Bye.